All right, Saturday morning, just getting to the condo. Do a quick walkthrough. I had to do some maintenance items. I gotta fix, uh, I gotta fix uh, a towel rack, I guess. Here, that's, uh, it's on the wall now, but I gotta get that done. So let's just check out the clean job. Here we had uh, John out here cleaning. Uh, turn some lights. Huh. All right, so we wanna make sure that these lights turn on when you turn the switch. So that's number one checklist is make sure that this switch is on here so that when people walk in the switch actually works because I put it on an extension cord from the wall and why does that not go off is it on the wrong one? Oh yeah they put it on the wrong one all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this here okay there we go all right so we just want to make sure that the wall, that the switch is in the top position and that thing is on so people can actually turn on a switch because that is annoying not being able to turn on a light when you walk into a bedroom. All right. So let's check number one. Needs to be wiped down. I mean, that is uh, pretty damn filthy there. Um, I'm gonna need to get some rags. Let me. Right, so, need to make sure we dust these uh, wedges here nicely. So, window so these windows clean. Yeah, these these need to be clean. These things are not these windows are not clean at all. I mean, he might have, I don't know if you tried to clean them, John, but the thing is, you got to look and see if your rags are leaving huge smears. Everything is, is smeared up here. So this has got to be clean. Uh, I'm going to give John a call here, see if he'll come out and help me real quick. All right, so that's that. Fingerprints on the thermostat. We need to wipe off all the fingerprints so it doesn't look like we got people touching it. There we go, perfectly clean. And I did not touch that thermostat since I've been here. So this looks alright. Oh, something's got a scratch on it. Alright. No, this is dirty. If you rub your hand over it, there's a bunch of nasty stuff on it. Let's see. All right, so here in the bathroom, things like this, we want to make sure this stuff is wiped in. Um, this is all on the outside of the container bottle. And uh, looks like it may have just spilled when you refilled it. But, you know, you got to kind of just clean that off and make it look nice. Let's see. it off very nicely it's all about the finishing touches especially for paying two hundred dollars for cleaning and supplying materials let's see right. this is all wiped down this nice okay Put a new soap. Uh, this looks like some old soap and hairs on it. Yeah, we just gotta double check. We definitely don't want to be leaving soap with hair, so for the most part, we can just trash this. If you ever see this, 
and uh, make sure this goes bye bye. All right, we made it to the master bedroom. Quick dust check. Uh, not bad, a lot better than the window sill. But uh, the front of this was clean, it's just the uh, back side of it. But that's either in there, here, or there. Okay. Just to make sure this is all dust. Yeah, this all looks, this is all good. Nothing. Looking good. Here. Holy shit, that is a lot of dust. So we need to get these window sills. Always make sure I get these window sills good. Uh. And uh, yeah, these windows, these windows need to be cleaned for sure. Uh, they are not. I mean, they look. They could have been maybe cleaned, but like I said, it's they're not clean though. They're just completely smeared up, and uh, you got to keep working at it until uh, you get the window clean. Otherwise, you know, there's no point to clean it. But yeah, that's all. Let's see if I just rub my finger there now, it gets perfectly clear under my finger on this side. See how clear that is? Then when I go here, how blurry it gets. That's how the whole window is. It's got like these smears on it, as you can see as I pass by, and then of course. Clear, right? Right there, clear. <sighs> Alright. This one feels clean, good, mirrors look good, everything wiped down looks good. Oh, I just stepped on here. Your rug did look beautiful. <laughs> I just put right, I'll, I'll fluff that out again. Uh, and then, let me just get rid of these black, some black dirt, all right. No hairs, look good. Let's check the toilets, look good. Ooh, there's a hair right there on a the thing. I want to grab that hairs. Just double check, make sure those hairs don't pop up. That's, that's the grossest thing. All right, looks good. Ooh, except for again, a lot of hairs. Look at that. So we're gonna clean that off. That's that's my biggest pet peeve is clean toilets. Uh, I don't want to touch this. Okay. There's a lot of black stuff right there. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. All those black things on the toilet. Looks like they come right off. good. I fluff that rug. Beds look good. Let's see. Closets. Closets look good. Yeah. Closets look good. Ah, like I said, beds look good in here. That looks good. <coughs> Everything's situated. So really just uh, those window ledges and the windows on the inside for sure. Uh, the toilets, the soap dispenser. Just gotta wipe those things down. Uh, TV looks good. Looks good. Dusty. Windows look good. We got our chair set up. We got some 
some buckets and things they left, which is fine. We got our chairs here. All right, so here, now I get it. This is probably something we can't, you know, you, you were here a week ago, so this is probably from uh, people blowing in the yard work and stuff. But I'm sure you wiped all this down. But yeah, we just want to make sure we wipe these things down best we can. Uh, I'm, I know you did that. You're good. All right, well, here's our beach. Beautiful. Here's one big thing. This entire handle is brown. Um, it's got some type of, it looks like a sunblock, probably a bunch of uh, brown smears of something. Let me zoom out here. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, we want to make sure we wipe this down good. Uh, and of course with uh, just some cleaner or something. Inside here all this looks good. Uh, here again we got tons of like, it looks like blue icy stuck to the handle and all our touch points we want to make sure we get clean so if you look if i just take my finger here and wipe that off it comes right off so we need at least a wipe on there with some cleaner because i'm sure it's germy here on the stove top if you can just put on all the lighting when you wipe your stove top because this is basically what it's going to look like when someone walks in and I can see you definitely wiped it down uh, and probably cleaned it or whatever, but you know, as you can see, there's whatever rags you were using, there's some type of oils or residue, because this is kind of what the windows look like on both inside windows over there. Um, they just got these, these smear marks everywhere you wiped. So you just gotta make sure you're using enough window cleaner, Windex, ammonia, vinegar, uh, to actually get rid of all the smear marks. Um, gotta do it. Fridge, fridge, that's fine. Check the ice, it's on. Get the ice is, that's good. Um, here, oh yeah, and this is another reason why I want to do this video. I just wanted to leave things in certain areas. So this right here, we can put right underneath this table here. We'll just put all the blankets inside this bench. I forgot we brought this bench out with blankets for people to use. So, uh, so there we go. This all looks good. Just little things, pushing things in and straightening things out. Now you're good. Good. Let's just look at this table. Make sure we don't have similar smear marks. I don't know what that is. It's a big old piece of plastic. Yeah. Again, table looks clean. Just some of the smear marks. And then, looks good. Ooh, we're missing, we're missing a cup here. There should be a, a matching cup that goes here, so. And then of course, this coffee maker, we can keep this coffee maker. All the appliances except for the Keurig machine can go under here. Okay, so the coffee maker and stuff, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, this needs to be wiped down, this is disgusting. Uh, that, that is disgusting. No one wants to touch old people's uh, crap here. So I'll wipe that down and then I'll set that usually with this with the two cups. Um, so let me go back and grab the cups. And then what I like to do is just make sure all these cups are in matching order um, for the most part. Alright, those look good. We'll bring this cup back here. This will go down here. I forgot, it's a little bit bigger, so it's gotta go in this one. I put the, uh, I put the uh, shelf down of one. Let's get this coffee maker in here. So we got our crock pots. 
toaster, crock pot, and people use toasters all the time. We want to make sure that we're uh, cleaning these toasters, you know, wiping them down, uh, cleaning them out. This one's all smeared up and stuff, but the toaster mainly and the Keurig machine up here, which I think I see you wipe this down nicely, open the top so it could cover. Only thing just down here, if we could wipe this better, just make it nice and clean. That's where the healthy splatter is. Let's see. Just if you see all that nastiness, just a quick little wipe. We'll get all that clean off that stainless. Just like that. Perfect. And same thing across the bottom here. If uh, yeah, all this looks good. Thank you, John. Appreciate you. Uh, same here. Clean. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Bucket. Nice bucket. Inventory check. Again, just the smears. Uh, you can see that film. That's what is all over all the windows and all the glass surfaces. You can see that. And I clean the shit out of this thing, but this thing just gets dirty. It kind of sticks dirt. But, uh, yeah, if we can see, you gotta kinda use the light reflections to get all the smears. I'll wipe all this down. Okay, so on this right here, just like we want to wipe all the baseboards down every time we come through here, um, just to keep these clean, because if you don't, oh, you can see there's stuff that builds on them quickly, because uh, this place is just so dirty, you know, being at the beach with all the air and wind, we always want to wipe these down uh, nicely. And uh, that just goes around the whole thing. Usually I just use kind of like a nice broom and do it when I'm dusting and mopping. But if you see any dirt, you just gotta, you know, kind of use a wipe. Otherwise, it just starts getting caked and caked after each visit because of the humidity and the moisture, the dirt, the sticks, and then the dust, sticks, then more moisture, then more dust. All right. Let's go check on the. Uh... Okay, so this is left open. Perfect. Looks clean inside. Looks good. There's a big hair right there on the touch panel. So we want to wipe those things clean. We want to dust this whole area and all this crud that's here, it's like brown. And then down here, there's a bunch. So again, just, oh, my bad. That doesn't come up, uh, but that hair, obviously, we want to get the hairs off the touch panels for sure. And Uh, here looks like the sand and that's fine. Ooh, here we got all sand stuck. Uh, if you look here, this just you gotta wipe this sand down. Uh, if you look at all that sand right there, all this sand built up here, you gotta wipe this down, get it on a wet rag, and then all this sand on this. Uh, on this uh, rim right here, you just take a wet rag and just wipe it. You gotta get this all wiped down. Uh. All right, so that's the main things. Looks like the filter's still doing okay. We're probably good for two more weeks until we get back. And get a cleaner. 
got our thing right here. This needs to be stuck. Uh, these, these need to be uh, hung up. I got these little hangers here and they have clips. So, um, just let me show you how this works. These just snap together. Like so. I'm sorry. So that just snaps together, snaps on there. And then you can hook your uh, thing to that. All right, so for supplies, uh, usually for a weekly rental, we're, we're gonna leave four uh, dishwasher tabs. We're gonna make sure we have uh, plenty of tr uh, trash bags. Thanks for uh, dropping this bag off. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just pull out several for them. Per day, one for every two days, maybe. So I would say five, four, four for a week. Four, one, two, three, four. So we maybe. We put two bags. That's what we'll do. We'll put two bags, fresh bags, in the containers, and then we'll do three replacements. Two, four, six. We'll have six. Uh, Six bags. These are just public shopping bags. All right, so we won't leave public shopping bags in here. We'll keep a little dustpan. We'll do at least one brand new roll per guest underneath, and then whatever's left up there, that's fine. Um, just gotta make sure the uh, so we got Windex here. We got the Lysol spray. We got the dish soaps. The extra containers of dish soap. We got our fresh linen spray. spray that. Okay, and as far as decorating goes, uh, these straw pillows uh, will go here on this uh, uh, couch. Okay, let's give it the contrast because it kind of clashes with the other one. I'm trying to tie these uh, furnitures together best we can being such different colors so we got this brown i'm trying to use the canvas pills and tie into here and then we got uh i'm trying to use the blues over here so it looks like we're missing a pillow we're missing our new blue pillow let's go try to find that i just bought those they're really for the outside chairs but i don't want to keep them outside so let's see where oh there it is that's all right grab that And uh, take this, and we'll take this one over here. This blue one, we'll just get rid of and put up in the extra sheets here or in the whatever. All right, so I gotta still come by. And uh, yeah, you can see how dirty that is. And uh, we gotta do the windows and the glass tables. And this door here, there's one big smear mark right there in the center. Looks like a thumb, big old thumbprint. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and get that. You can see that right there. All right, and then to continue here, um, this is just what the couch should look like. You got rectangle, the two squares, rectangle. There you go. There's that. Okay. Uh, and then of course the towels, I like them rolled just like that. Uh, so the little jobs look fine. Very good. That's about it. I'm gonna get my maintenance items done. I'm gonna wipe up the windows and frame uh, and be out of here.